Hello, uh, this is going to be an unusual video, I think, because uh, I usually don't talk in my videos, but I thought this was a special occurrence. Um, I mean, it was recently brought to my attention that Slendy Tubbies, there was a public build of, of the original Slendy Tubbies game um, that isn't version 1, it's actually an alpha build. Um, now this wasn't discovered by this person, but the person who has released this publicly is known by DualShocks, they're a close friend of mine. Um, I'll have the link to the Google Drive link to it uh, in the description, so that you can play it if you want. Uh, I haven't played this at all yet, I've only seen screenshots of it, but essentially it is a version of Slendy Tubbies that um, took a week to build, um, a week to make, so... It's probably pretty rough around the edges, uh, and apparently there's some cool stuff that really hasn't been seen before, so we're going to check it out here. Um, we're going to launch it. It's uh, telling me it's a virus, but I'm going to run it anyway. And here we are in Slendy Tubby's Alpha. Um, so right off the bat, F and right click both uh, enable the flashlight. There is no sprinting, it seems. Um, I'm unable to sprint or crouch. It's very interesting. Um, okay. Sorry if it's a little loud. In fact, uh, let me see if I can't fix that real quick. Uh, just turn it down a little bit. Uh, there we go. Alright, I think that's good. That's better. Alright. So, I cannot sprint. So, we're stuck at this speed, it seems. Um, and I guess we'll just try and complete the game. The map looks about the same as it is in the final. I don't see any notable differences. Although, you can see at the top... Um, Oh, I see. Okay, so you have to click on the custards in order to click them, uh, and that's kind of a problem because your mouse often goes off of the screen. Oh. Interesting jump scare noise there. It's different. Um, God, we're going to see Tinky Winky and his scream is going to be really loud, and I am not excited for it. <laughs> the volume here is really loud. I should have probably turned it down a bit more. In fact, yeah, let me let me do that real quick. I don't want to have my ears bleed. Uh, we're going to turn it down to, like, 20. That should be fine. Alright. So, as, yeah, as you can see, it's very interesting. This, this flashlight is a lot more basic. It doesn't have a... Oh, so is the grass texture. It's also a lot different. I'm a nerd. I'll notice this kind of thing. What was that in the distance? I see something, like, white and glowing. It was appearing for a second. Maybe that was just like a tree or something. Uh, no sign of Tinky Winky yet. I wonder if the dead Teletubbies are still in this version. Oh. Yeah, it seems like they are. I see Lala. The, the sand here looks like corn chips. I go right through her too. Very interesting. Alright, uh, well, I, we should be seeing Tinky Winky soon. Oh. That time there was no noise for that jump scare. Oh, there he is. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> you, you, if you saw there, Tinky Winky actually had the normal... Teletubby face instead of his uh, scary face um, until you look at him, in which case his face, his face switches. And actually, that is something that uh, was discovered. Let me grab that. That was something that was discovered left over in the code in the final game is that there's still code and the texture files uh, for switching the faces of Tinky Winky, which is very interesting. Um, now, he's probably, yeah, so as you can see, it's his normal face, and honestly, I think it's creepier like that. 
uh, I mean, I get why it was changed, but I think it's creepy when you just, you see a normal Teletubby following you. I think that's just kind of, it's unsettling. Alright, I guess we'll slowly walk away from him, because there's no sprinting. Uh, I kind of lost my sense of direction, but I think we're heading to the house here. Um, unless I'm going backward. Is he still right behind me? Oh no, he, he's... We're getting distance on him. We're a little bit faster than him, it seems. Hmm, so is that the only jump scare that pops up, then? It's just the hanging Poe one. Although, it doesn't have sound, unlike the first time it played. I'll probably uh, decompile this game after I'm done here and, and check out all the differences and maybe make another video on that, although I was told that there aren't a ton of differences, or notable differences. Probably just stuff like textures and sound effects, but, you know, it'd be interesting to look through. Yeah, well, I can't see Tinky Wing anymore. He's off in the distance somewhere, but I think at this point we are good to go. And if the house is here, oh, yeah, it is. Uh, actually, in the forum post that, um, I guess you call him Zeo Works, that, that he posted, um, he mentioned that Nunu is not in this build because someone had suggested to put Nunu in the game. So if we go in here, Nunu should not be here. Yep. It's just Dipsy. <laughs> Click on the custard to collect it. Oh, he can go through that. Oh, he can go through the door. That's... Get me up here. So I wonder if we could go through that door. Let's try it. First, let's... Okay, yeah, he's behind us. So maybe we'll be able to go through this door. Oh, he opened it. Interesting. Well, let's go say hi to Poe. She should be over here. Um, so yeah, very interesting. Nunu is not there. He was added in a later patch. Um, I guess we'll just continue. Oh, yeah, there she is. Now you'll notice uh, also... I don't know if I pointed it out, but there was no menu. You just got put right into the game as soon as um, you, you start up the EXE. It just uh, puts you right in. So there is no daytime, there is no multiplayer, uh, and there is no versus, no, 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 nothing like that. It's just single player, you're in here, it's nighttime. Now, I'm actually curious. There is no skybox. Uh, it reminds me more of the Slendy Tubby's 2 version of Slendy Tubby's Classic, actually. Because I don't think that version had a skybox. Uh, Alright, he's still off in the distance. We'll probably try and collect all the custards, and then we'll come back in and get killed by him and see what that looks like. Oh, never mind. I guess we just got killed by him then. <laughs> I, uh... Alright, so I guess when you get killed by him, it just turns off your game. Okay, uh, here we're back in. Um, now before I lose my sense of direction, uh, we will just try our best here. Oh, can I not see my mouse? Where is it? Uh-oh. Okay, I cannot see my mouse. There we go, I can see my mouse now. I just had to alt-tab out of it first. Alright, so let's try and get these in a pretty cohesive order here. We're going to go left to the cave. Um, get that. The cave will be over here. I do kind of like the no sprinting, though. I mean, it's a little annoying, but it makes the game more methodical and, and slower paced, which I think is good for a horror game. You don't really want it to be too fast-paced. Uh, I mean, I guess a fast-paced horror game can work and, and does work in some scenarios, but for a slender clone, I'd feel like, you know, being slow is okay. This area looks much different than it does in the final game, actually. Much different. Way more unfinished. Very interesting.
Whoa, I hear, I'm hearing like a wind sound effect and there's a there's a carrot here. I think this tree is making a noise. That's weird. There's a carrot right here. What does this carrot do? There's a carrot on the floor. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, we'll just go up on top of the house here. Actually, let's try opening the door. I'm curious. I want to see what it what it, what it looks like here. Oh, it's, it's open again. I don't know how that keeps happening. There's Dipsy. The particle effect is still there. Uh, I keep forgetting you have to click on them. <laughs> so it looks like we've collected six, I think. I don't want to be looking at Tinky Winky here. I know he's right behind me. Isn't he? Oh no, he might be on top of the house. So maybe I don't want to go up there. Ah, we'll do it. Is he right behind me now? Yep, there he is. Oh, yeah, there's uh, smoke. Oh, interesting. So it's a one voice trumpet, and it's not tipped over, and it's also really big. Huh. Really large voice trumpet. <laughs> Looks like there are two custards remaining. So yeah, one very large voice trumpet instead of two small ones. I guess they had mitosis or something <laughs> in between this and the final version. Now well, we should be pretty much done here in a sec. I think I know where the rest of the custards are. What was that? I thought I just heard a noise. Anyone else hear that? Well, once I decompile the noise, uh, the game, I'll be able to check out what all the sounds are about. Definitely a very interesting game, though. Wow. This might be the first video of this on YouTube. I'm unsure, and maybe someone else has covered this, but hopefully I'll kind of bring some attention to it, because it is awfully, uh, awfully cool to look at. Is the last custard over here? Did I already get this? No, there it is. <laughs> Alright, we can do it. Uh. I'll tell the custard's collected. Can he still... <laughs> oh, he can still scream. <laughs> he can very much still scream at me. Alright, so it doesn't look like it boots you out, but it does just kind of put you in a state of limbo where you have nothing to do. Uh, that this part probably wasn't coded yet. So it seems. Which kind of looks like... You do nothing. Well, I guess we'll let him kill us, and that'll be the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, again, link in the description for this alpha version of uh, Slendy Tubbies. Um, very interesting find by, by DualShocks. Very cool. Uh, huh. Uh, I guess if I've learned anything from this experience is that you gotta eat your greens, you gotta eat them carrots, you know? Gotta stay healthy. Alright, that's enough for me. See you later.